But did you know there are other countries that are not America, and each of them has a leader of its very own? Let's take a moment to meet one in our ongoing series, Other Countries, Presidents of the United States. This week's leader, Tony Abbott, Prime Minister of Australia. Its current leader, hardline right-wing Prime Minister Tony Abbott, who rose to power promising to be pro-business and religiously anti-immigration. Literally, religiously anti-immigration. Jesus knew uh, that there was a, a place for everything and, and it is not necessarily everyone's place to come to Australia. Exactly. Australia is for real Australians, like Tony Abbott, who was born in London, England. It's that kind of rhetorical consistency that's won him the admiration of his predecessors. If Tony Abbott ends up the Prime Minister of Australia, I mean, you've got to say, God help us. God help us. Tributes and song. And the love of Australia's children. My mummy calls him Tony Dum Dum because she thinks she, he is so, um, like, dumb. What is it about Tony Dum Dum that's led to his current approval rating of 30%? Could it be that he's personally insulted everyone else in the country, from women... The housewives of Australia need to understand as they do the ironing. ...to gays. Homosexuality. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? Oh, I probably feel a bit threatened. <laughs> to anyone remotely Irish. This government's a bit like the Irishman who lost 10 pounds betting on the Grand National and then lost 20 pounds on the action replay. To elderly, cancer-ridden phone sex workers. Tony Abbott has been filmed winking during a radio show. I'm a 67-year-old <coughs> pensioner, three chronic incurable medical conditions, mm -hmm. two life-threatening, and I work on an adult sex line to make ends meet. To incredibly this. Tony Abbott has been caught out seemingly insulting a Queensland soldier killed in Afghanistan. After being told about the complications of the firefight, this is Mr Abbott's reaction. Sometimes shit does happen. Luckily, Tony Abbott is a master of words and can talk himself out of any situation. Look, a soldier has died. Uh, and you shouldn't be trying to turn this into a subsequent media circus. How's that turning into a media circus? <laughs> okay, well, tell me, what's the context? And if it's out of context, what is the context? <laughs> You're not saying anything, Tony. Um, I've given you the response you deserve. Yes, Tony Abbott knows one panicked, pants-shitting expression is worth a thousand words. And what a way with words Tony Abbott has. No one, however smart, uh, however well-educated, however experienced, is the suppository of all wisdom. But if anyone is the suppository of wisdom, surely it's Tony Abbott, a man who always knows exactly what to say or not to say and who's won exactly as much respect from his constituents as he deserves. Good morning, sir. How are you? Take it.